What's up guys, how you doing? Today we're talking about something that is kind of close to my heart or in fact kind of closer to something a bit lower down than my heart because we're talking about stalls. We're going to talk about which different stalls I've used, which ones I favour. We're going to look at the pros and cons of the different stalls that I've got with me today and see which is the best stall for you and your photography. Hopefully this will be a good one guys, let's get into it. So guys, welcome to today's video. Before we get into talking specifically about stalls, if you're new around here, please do think about subscribing. There'll be loads more videos coming along, loads of videos already on my channel. Go check those out, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you find this review interesting and please do think about subscribing if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out my social media channels. You can find me on Twitter, at Rob Samuels Photo. You can find me on Instagram, three different places for my Instagram, at Rob Samuels Photo at Rob Sample Sport and at Scorchers Photog. Go check those out, guys. Comment on something. Tell me you came from YouTube because I'm always interested to see who has come to my Instagram channel from my YouTube channel. Really cool to see. And perhaps most importantly from today's video, if you like what you see, if you find it interesting, if you enjoyed it, or it just helps you pass 10 minutes on your Wednesday night, please do whack that like button, give me the thumbs up, smash it like you mean it. And I don't just mean press it, guys. I mean smash it like you mean it. Whack it, punch it, press it. Don't just, don't just tap it. Oh, Rob's probably going to want the like on the video, so I should give it a little tap. Smash it, whack it, take your phone out. No, don't do that one because someone's going to sue me. Hit that like button, guys. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the video. So as I said, guys, today's topic is stalls. Now, when it comes to stalls, I've tried quite a few and I've got quite a few. I've got small stalls, medium stalls, extra tall stalls, even adjustable stalls that go to all different heights. And the problem is, I like them all one way or another. There's different pros and cons of each of them. So that's exactly what we're going to look at today. The four stalls we will be talking about. Number one, the small folding stall. Simple kind of fold-out stall that you guys can get from any kind of DIY shop or eBay. That's where I got mine from. We're talking about the medium-sized stall. So the same kind of size type stall. Folds out flat. medium size. That's going to be the second stall that we'll be talking about. Third stall is going to be the walk stall. You guys have probably seen these before. They kind of fold up like your more traditional camping stall. Walk stall, that's the third stall we're going to be looking at. Specifically, for those of you who are wondering, mine is the walk stall, basic 60 centimetre. And the third, sorry, the fourth and final stall is the Minimax stall. The Minimax stall is the one that folds out. Minimax stall is the fourth stall that we will be looking at today. Okay, guys, so stall number one that we're going to be talking about is the small folding stall. Simple little sturdy molded plastic stall. The advantages of this kind of stall is that you can carry it pretty much anywhere. In fact, it literally comes with your own fold out handle when you're carrying it. It's got a very thin profile. It really folds down flat and takes up hardly any space at all. You can attach this to your bag, you can kind of strap it to stuff. Real lightweight stall and perhaps a real big advantage of this one guys is it is really affordable. You can pick this up on eBay for like five, six, seven pounds, something like that. Not too expensive at all, not expensive to replace if you ended up damaging it. The downside to this stall, and I guess the cons, are that it is quite small, it's quite short, it doesn't have any kind of adjustability to it. It's only about 30 centimetres tall, so you do find yourself kind of squatting onto it a little bit. It's not the most comfortable seating position. So overall, biggest pro, small, easy to carry, cheap. Um, cons, quite hard, not the most comfortable stall, very low down. That's stall number one, guys. So, stool number two, similar style stool. Um, it's like the slightly higher one. Again, it has the very thin profile, folds up, very easy to use, very easy to carry. Again, it has the handle uh, in the top. When it's folded flat, you guys can see it has the handle there. Very thin profile, as we mentioned, and again, very easy to carry. You can attach it to the back of your backpack, something like that. Another big advantage is that it's quite comfortable. Yeah, it's hard plastic, but where there's the space underneath, it kind of gives it a little bit of a flex. It's not cushioned, but it makes it a bit more comfortable to sit on and has a bit more give if you're going to be sat on there for perhaps a couple of hours. 
and of course it's taller gives you that extra height and it's an all-round kind of seating position as opposed to the first stool is a bit more of like a squatting on a stool this one you can comfortably sit on it is much more comfortable for a long period of time maybe two hours at a time if you're shooting a sports event one more advantage of this stool again it is very affordable very cheap you can get this for probably about 10 pounds on ebay amazon somewhere like that all different colors whatever you like mine's the the boring beige but you can get all different colors as well disadvantages of this stool probably the biggest disadvantage is that it is um, a fixed height you can't adjust it so if you are a little bit too low or you feel a bit too high you can't change it you're kind of stuck with it it is what it is it's probably about double the height of the small plastic stool so it's about 60 centimeters which is a decent height but of course it is fixed um, but nonetheless a good stool and in fact to, to spoiler alert probably one of my favorite stools that we're going to talk about today Stool number three, guys, is the walk stool. Now, those of you who haven't seen this one before, it's a real simple stool. It folds out. The legs slide out underneath like telescopic effect, and it just gives you that sort of standard kind of tripod stool with the material top. Advantages of this stool is that it is very low profile. It's very small. It folds up into just a cylinder. It literally takes up no space at all. You could strap it to your backpack or, or even put it inside a bag. It's really small. Quite comfortable, but the comfort is kind of a pro and a con because it's quite comfortable in the way that it has the soft surface on the top. And that's great because that material at the top has a lot of give and it is comfortable. The problem comes in with the three legs. At the top there, they kind of create um, like three sort of nodules. It kind of digs in well between your legs and guys perhaps we don't want that for too long if you know what i mean that can become a little bit uncomfortable disadvantages of this stool it is more expensive you guys will be able to find this stool um, on amazon probably the best place ebay as well mine was the medium height which is the 60 centimeters but that will cost you around about the kind of 40 50 pound mark it's a very strong stool very well made um, it takes enough weight certainly takes enough weight for me and look i'm not the lightest guy so that's quite good Another disadvantage will be that it is again it's a fixed height it's a 60 centimeter stool not adjustable unfortunately that's your walk stool and the fourth stool that we're going to look at today those of you guys who shoot lots of sports events this is probably the most common stool that you will see at sports events at the moment it is the minimax stool it's an adjustable height stool it's made from loads of discs of molded plastic, so it pulls right out tall, and this is the full height right here. But you can also make it all different heights, much smaller, um, of course, all the way down to, to absolutely flat where it takes up no space at all if you want to. Really easy to carry around, it has the handle, so loads of advantages there. And when it is flat, it's literally just a few centimeters thick, so it takes up no space at all. You could chuck it in your bag, attach it to the side of something, Simply kind of twist and it unfolds all the way from really tall to kind of middle height, all the way down to a real low down stall. Strong, sturdy, will take your weight. And although the idea of lots of plastic discs might kind of sound flimsy, it's actually really solid, really sturdy. And I imagine you would struggle to break it, it's pretty decent. Disadvantage of this one probably be that it's not so comfortable. It's a solid plastic surface um, And again, it's very similar I guess to the solid plastic surface of the second stool we looked at But the difference is that that one has a bit of give whereas this is like a solid plastic surface And if you sat on it for a long time kind of up to two hours like you are at a typical sports event It can get a little bit uncomfortable Another disadvantage of this one is that it is quite an expensive stool. You probably can pick it up um, on eBay for around about the £50 mark. I, I did anyway. But you'll also find a lot of sellers which are charging more, like kind of £80, £90, £100, pounds, 120 even. Because it doesn't seem to be that much of an easy stool to get hold of right now. I got mine on eBay actually from a, from a seller who does music stuff because it's a stool that seems to be used for, for music as well as um, photography. But there's a lot of companies, if you look on eBay, you'll see you can buy it from Israel. Um, and then with the import and the postage and stuff, it ends up costing a lot more. So that can be a disadvantage of this stool. 
So that's your four stalls. So where does that leave you? Which stall should you be looking at? And I think the honest answer is it depends a little bit on you. If I was just picking the best all around stall, I would say the Minimax wins it for me purely because the adjustable height and how easy it is to carry with you just makes it a winner in pretty much every category. Yes, it is a bit expensive. Yes, it's a bit difficult to get. Yes, it is a bit uncomfortable, but you can actually buy a version with a padded seat um, or you could just make yourself a little cushion or something that you could stick on there, which would negate the comfort factor. So that probably isn't really one to worry about too much. If, however, the pricing is an issue, and guys, I bought this stall about two weeks ago. You guys know if you've watched my videos for a while that I do work on a budget, and in fact, I used the two folding stalls for a long, long time. Very cheap, very affordable. You guys who've watched my videos will have seen me using this stall all over the place, and I, and I did. I've used this stall for five, six years with no problems at all. Um, the advantages are it's easy to carry. Is it as easy to carry as the Minimax? No, but it's still really simple to carry. You can just carry it in your hand, you can attach it to a bag, strap it onto something. Really easy to carry. Of course, there's the disadvantage of it being a fixed height. Well, how do you get around that? They're so cheap, you buy two. You buy the smaller one as well and carry them both. They're really easy to carry. I mean, look how much space they take up next to each other. Hardly anything at all. And really easy to have those two stalls. So if you've got a bit of a tighter budget, that is definitely your best option. So the only one I've kind of left out there, I guess, is stall number three, which is the walk stall. Now, in all honesty, this is probably the one that I now find myself using the least. Um, it's the tallest stall, and so I guess in some situations that use, that's useful, but overall, the lack of adjustable height, the fact it isn't very comfortable if you're going to sit on it for more than half an hour, um, overweighs the biggest advantage that it does have, which is how easy it is to carry around. And there you have it guys, that's our stalls. I guess for the purpose of this video, if we have to pick a winner, we're saying the Minimax stall. Uh, if you guys are interested in purchasing that stall or any other stalls that I've talked about today, have a look in the description. I've put the links to the different stalls that you can get there. Go check them out um, and see what you think. You might find a stall that's right for you. Comment below, let me know which of those stalls you guys use or which ones you've tried, or perhaps there's another magical stall that I haven't seen yet that I'd be interested interested in trying please do let me know because I'm always interested in talking about gear um, and trying out some stuff and maybe we could try out those stalls here on the channel based on your guys feedback and I think that is about it for today guys I hope you guys find something cool to go and sit on going forward with your sports event thank you so much for watching next video is going to be coming up in just a few days probably next Wednesday but right now we're sticking with the weekly Wednesday theme I'm trying to get them coming a bit more often if I possibly can guys thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys on the next one